Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Rocksteady Studios. Thanks for joining me again here today. Hopefully, you're all using your Circle O mirror to get your exercise in. Um, again, if you ever have any questions about Circle O or need help, Elaine and Bo are always there to help out. Today, we're going to be working with our gloves on. So, gloves on workout means we're going to be doing a lot of punching, probably some defense, footwork. And uh, just before we do get started, make sure you've loosened up. I've got a couple of good loosen up videos out there for everybody to use, warming up. And if you're new to this, you can go back and uh, to the um, bank that I've made for you guys and do your loosen ups. Very, very important that you loosen up and you stretch a little bit for at least 10 minutes. All right? So today, I have the gloves over here. I have some light weights. I have a couple of small cones. I always like to have a few things ready and prepared to go, all right, so that we don't have to walk out, interrupt our workouts. At any time, please sit down, take a seat if you feel lightheaded, take breaks, okay? Sometimes people get caught up in it and they keep going. We just are concerned about your safety, all right? so. Assuming that you already got loosened up and warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves out. And these are, were a gift to me from a gentleman in Mexico, and I like to use them because he's a great guy and does a lot for the community. So I've got my gloves on, and hopefully you guys have a safe, clear area to work from. We're not going to do the pyramid today. What we're going to do is some forward and backward boxing. As you know, moving backwards, and a lot of you have seen me in class, it's, it scares me a bit, right? Because that is probably one of the biggest ways that people get injured or fall, is moving backwards. So the boxing stance already saves me from that. Look, if you look at my stance with my right foot behind me, I've got some support. If I'm here and I go back, I can fall. Okay, and that's what we're really trying to avoid. That's all the work we do all the time is looking for our balance, our agility. But when I think of boxing, I think of balance, balance, balance. <clears throat> so my stance needs to be here. My nose needs to remain behind my knee. It's a little challenging for me because I have a huge nose. So I really got to sit here and make sure that when I'm moving back, I don't go like this, and when I'm moving forward, I don't go like this, all right? So the first thing we're going to do today is a one, two, one, two, moving forward, and then a two, three, two, three, moving backward. So that's a jab, cross, jab, cross, moving forward, and then a cross, hook, cross, hook, moving backward. I'm going to show you in different angles so that you can see exactly what I do, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. First, I'm going to get my stance, and I'm going to give myself a little distance so I can move, I can work. I have a good workspace here. My hands are up. My knees are bent. Right? I'm in a nice athletic position. And it's going to start with the left foot, left hand first. That's my jab. And the right is going to follow, the two. So here we go. Rock steady. Ready? Let's go. One, two. One, two. And I stop. And now I'm going to go two, three, two, three backward two, three, two, three, all right? And I'm going to alternate through calling it the name of the punch and the number of the, number of the punch. <clears throat> Boxing is like a new language, right? Let's do it again, going forward. Jab, cross, jab, cross. I'm going to sit, make sure I'm secure. Cross, hook, cross, hook. Keep, keep that going a few times, and I'm going to turn around to the side so you can see my profile. One, two, one, two. Come back to my stance, and I'm going to go back. Two, three, two, three. Good. I'm going to go the other way. One, two, one, two, two, three, two, three. Good. All right, let's keep that going. Jab, cross, jab, cross cross, hook, cross, hook. Notice that my steps are really small. 
This is a mistake a lot of people make. They'll go jab, cross, and look, they brought their right foot all the way up next to the left. This does not do us any good. This is a dangerous place to be. Jab, cross, jab, cross, and then a small step when I go backwards, cross, hook, cross, hook. Good. Let's go forward with the uppercuts. <coughs> Excuse me. Same thing. The only difference is my hands are going to be here. This is a 5-4. Left uppercut, right uppercut. Ready? Let's go. Up, up. 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. We're doing six punches this time. I should have told you that before. Backwards, starting with the right hand. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Keep going. I'm going to set up. We're going to go to the left. We're going to go to the left. Left, right, left, right. Okay? I'm going to go backwards with the right hand. Right up, left up, right up, left up, right up, left up. Going forward, starting with the left. Left up, right up, left up, right up, left up right up very good back to the one two back to the one two moving forward okay this time it's going to be six punches one two one two one two rock steady ready here we go one two one two one two backwards with uppercuts six of them up 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 Good. We're going to go one more time forward, but we're going to do it with two hooks. It's going to be a three, six. Okay. The left hook is a three. The right hook is a six. Okay. Here we go. Left hook, right hook. Still small steps. Still small steps. Left hook, right hook. Left hook, right hook. We're going backwards starting with the right hand. Six, three, six, three, six, three. Mix them up if you want to go ahead and try these different. Now what I'm, the point I'm making here is the feet and the hips remain the same. I'm just doing this. Whether it's a jab cross, whether it's a three, six, a hook, hook. All right. Good. So once you've finished that up, let's go ahead and keep, get back to center, right? This is home base. Okay. Perfect. Let's all drop our hands. And this is another way I teach the hip and feet movement. We're going to go ahead and turn, turn. My hands and my arms are totally relaxed. This is how really a lot of high level pros get warm. All right? I'm just here. Now I'm going to bring, and this is not easy. A lot of people will stiffen up. They'll want to control. Boxing is a mixture of control and intensity right? It's a very paradoxical sport. Now I'm going to lift my hands. I'm going to try to keep this rhythm going. Here we go. Good. Just like that. Good. 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 Keep it going. Now I'm going to get the punches going to match this. Cross, hook, cross, hook, cross, hook. Good. It's a good little drill. It's a good little loosen up to do too. Let's do this again. I don't always have to go directly straight, so I'm going to go a little at, like a diagonal angle here. But I'm still going forward, and I'm still going to start with the left hand if I'm going forward. And remember, lefty, southpaws, if you're a southpaw like me, I teach right-handed, but I am a natural lefty. It starts with this hand. Your right hand is your jab, right? I don't want to confuse anyone, but lefties, you know what I'm talking about. We've had to learn things the right-handed way, so we're just going to turn it around. Back to right-handed. I'm going to go at an angle here. One, two. And I've got to turn this shoulder a little more if I want to go at that angle. Two. And now that's really forcing my core to twist. Good. Here we go. We're going to go back. Cross, hook. Cross, hook. Cross, hook. Very good. All right. Very, very nice. This is a really important part of boxing. And for me, it's a really important part of rock steady. This is why I just find it fascinating how boxing 
can help out people with Parkinson's. And especially that backward step. Whenever I stand, I always stand, well, for me it's the other way, but I want that support, okay? Now, brachinesia, or any time that festation happens with our feet, here, super dangerous. I see it happening at the gym a lot. And I get a lot of great feedback from folks that are rock steady fighters that this has saved them many a time, okay? In boxing, once I break my cup, this is the cup. I always want my body to be right here. Once I break that and I open up, I'm falling back and I end up against these ropes and I'm in trouble. Just like you folks, when you fall back, that's not a good place to be, right? So what we're going to do now is just take a little chance here and step back quickly. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. This is your strong leg. It's going to catch your fall. It's going to put the brakes on. Now watch me do it across this way. Okay, I'm going to stand here. I'm in my boxing stance. I'm going to do whatever I can not to tilt my shoulders back. I'm going to stay nice and straight. That foot. Here. 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 Okay, I'm going to do it the other way. Again, the right leg is still in the back. And I'm going to try to just imitate what I see sometimes when that festination kicks in. Here, here, here. I've seen plenty of people fall. So, I'm really going to focus. The trick to me is don't let your back heel hit the ground. Keep your foot on the gas pedal. Okay? Here, 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 here. If you're at home and you're not wearing shoes, even better. You'll get a really good feel on the ground. Okay, and if you're not wearing shoes, be, please be careful not to slide. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to step, 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 step. I can't, if my heel is up, I, I really have trouble falling back. It kind of is a safety precaution, all right? And it's easier said than done. I know, <clears throat> I know watching me, it looks a little easier, but that's years of working on that. But it won't take you years. It'll just take that boxing stance, okay? Worst case scenario, you get to your heel, you'll feel a little, a little bit of pressure going back. Just take that other step. Take that other step, okay? Great. Let's just take a little breather here. All right, let's get a little, if you need to get some water, we're gonna go into some speed work. All right, I wanna get the jab cross going and it's gonna involve a lot of speed and a lot of footwork, all right? Meaning, I'm gonna wanna see hands and feet working together. All right. If you want to pause this and take a break, go ahead. I'm going to continue with it. While you're taking a break, all you're going to need to focus on is jab, cross, and uppercut. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stance. And I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to have myself pointing towards you all, and then I'm going to do a profile. All right. These are 10 second intervals with 10 second breaks. We got to get that heart rate up. Okay, we got to get that blood pumping. I'm sure your doctors and your neurologists have told you that. And I agree. Here we go. And I'm going to be counting in my head. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and count out loud. All right, rock steady, ready with the jab cross. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. I'm going to turn slowly so you can see my profile. We're going to do that again. Okay, my hands are up. I start with the jab. Rock steady, ready? Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Good. We're going to go to uppercuts now. Uppercuts. On the uppercuts, it doesn't really matter if you start with your left or your right. Okay, as long as you keep that rhythm. And I always think in steps. These don't mean anything if I don't have good feet. Okay, here we go. Uppercuts. Rock steady, ready? Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'm going to move slowly. Again, that right leg, that's my anchor. Uppercuts, one last time. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's take a breather here. I need to take a breather. And we're going to go ahead and do a little core work, okay, with the gloves on. If we have our gloves on, a gloves on day doesn't mean it's only going to be punches. We're going to do some drills where you can use your gloves to do some different work. And this is a balance, coordination, and core exercise. And again, pause if you need to. That was a tough one. And then just rejoin us when you're done getting your break. All right, here we go. All I'm going to do, and you guys have done this with me before, is I'm going to lift and clap the gloves. Lift and clap the gloves. The trick to this is tighten up your belly because this is what I don't want. Some of you have that postural instability. I understand, and it's tough to get yourself here, but that's the point. That's why we're doing this. So I'm going to start with postural instability, and gradually I'll be right here, okay? Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to clap, and I'm kind of finding, where's my spot? Where's my spot? My posture's not great right now, but I'm just really kind of getting the timing. I'm clenching my gut. I'm keeping balance. Okay, there it is. I kind of found it. I'm going to come up a little more. I'm feeling a little more confident. Okay, take your time. This is not a fast drill. Now, there I am. There I am. Good. And my core is doing a lot of the work. I'm squeezing my stomach. Okay? And I'm looking. I'm a, there's a mirror in front of me here. And I made a mistake. I'm letting my feet get really close together. Don't want to do that. I don't want my shoe and my other one to step. That's how people fall. So I want there to be at least an inch between. Good. And you guys will see me do stuff. I'll, I'll stumble a little, right? These are not easy drills. Good. 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 A few more. Good. Good. And time. Excellent. Excellent. Another thing we're going to do today is a little shoulder madness. And some of you have done this with me. We can do this from a seated position as well. I got a chair over here. And folks, I always have my, my gear around me. Um, I have some weights. I have my chair. I have a foam roller. I have a couple of um, agility cones, just in case, right? And you, you know me too, so sometimes I'll just throw stuff in here. But with shoulder madness, what we're going to do are circles out front, circles to the side, and then circles up top. And then I have a bonus at the end. I always have a little bonus. And everyone groans and goes, ah. Oh. Okay. All right. You ready? Hands out. And circles. And notice I'm in my stance. I'm in my stance, right? Right foot's back. Good. And they're little circles. They're pro the circles are probably the size of the glove. If I was to be, have a glove in front of me, it'd probably be the size of the glove. Right? And now I'm feeling pretty loose, so I'm really working that. Good. Good. Let's go out to the side. Let's go backward on this one. If you want to really, really challenge yourself, put your palms down or your, the top of your hand facing me. Okay? So your palms are facing behind you. These will hit your trapezius and the little tiny rear deltoid muscle. And this takes some coordination. <laughs> Woo! Feel that. Good. Up top. Straight as straight as you can. Little circles. If you have shoulder issues, this will definitely bring them out. So what I'll do is this small. I'll bring out my elbows a little. If not, keep them as straight as you can. Good. 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 And back to stance. Here's the bonus. We're going to go front door hammer. Let me in. Go. Right here. Let me in. Let me in. I promise to do the dishes. Come on. Let me in. Come on. I'll put my stuff away. <laughs> go. 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 And time. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. All right. So we're going to do a couple of more footwork things here. I just want to make sure that we're all secure. <coughs> and what I've done is I've brought out a couple of rings. If you're at home, you can use a towel, like lay it out. I know sometimes we, all, we use towels for other things. I don't want anything high on the ground. A piece of, uh, I always should have told you earlier, that painter's tape is great. You can put ta uh, mark your floor with painter's tape, anything that is going to lay down on the floor. What I want to do is a one, two, three, four, and we're going to switch the side, okay? Keep your gloves on, keep your hands up. All it is, is the one is your left foot. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So let me give you guys a second or pause this so you can grab what you need to grab to do this drill. And I'm going to keep moving. Okay? If you don't have a line or if you can't figure out what to use, try to follow along because this is a tricky one if you don't have a line. Once you figure it out, then you can do it. And also, you can cheat a little bit if you don't have a line. Here we go. Hands are up. Rock steady, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to add a jab. One, two, three, four. 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 Pick it up a little. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Beautiful. I'm going to move it over for my south paws. So everybody who's right-handed, welcome to my world. There's a few of us out there. Rocksteady is pretty left-handed heavy, too. Very impressed. Great minds think alike. All right. So my one is going to be my right foot. I do not recommend this. Don't make this a, um, excuse me, a regular habit. It's not good to switch stances in boxing. A, you've already learned a lot from a right-handed perspective. So I think of this as just a footwork drill. All right, here you go. Again, the one is here. That's the only number, that's the only foot, excuse me, that will be in the ring. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Left, right. No, excuse me. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. Jab, two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four, one. There you go. Another thing that you can do, and more simple, these rings are great to have. If you have something even made out of cardboard, right? I step, I step. Now I'm going to look behind me and kind of see the distance that I've made, right? I didn't quite make it. I, st I was stepping on the back of this. And I'm not saying people are going to walk perfectly. It's just good to know that I don't go here and here. I see it a lot. Pick up our feet. Step, step, step. I'm going to slowly turn. I'm going to try my right foot in there. Step, step, step. If you feel like you are deliberately lifting over your, you're lifting your foot over this little tiny plastic, Good, good, because it may look like you're doing this, but you're not, okay? You're, you're helping yourself, you're preventing uh, a falling accident. Again, I'm going to lift, lift, lift. I cleared it. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm not, I don't need to look down. I'm going to look straight ahead. Lift, 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 okay? What I want to do now is a little stretch before we end this. We are going to go ahead, keep our gloves on. I'm going to have my hands out. I'm going to twirl them down and push them back. Let's just hold them back here. And as I'm holding them back, I'm twisting my hands, right? This is one where your posture can be a little bit funky, 
right? I'm a little bit bent over. And though I'm going to now start slowly straightening it up, and I'm really feeling this in my bicep, right? Which is connected to my shoulder. Good. Let's come down. We're going to twist them open. I'm going to have my palms facing each other. Now they're going to open up, and I'm going to twist them back as much as I can. And I always tell people, relax your face. I kind of just made a, what I call a lemon face. I scrunch up my face. I got to relax and breathe, and I'm opening those palms. Good. Let's go ahead and grab the back of that tricep right here. And I've got my tricep, and I'm just looking straight ahead here. Get those shoulders. We did, did a little shoulder madness. Good. Last one. And I'm going to hold. If you want to keep stretching when this video is over, that's fantastic, right? These tend to be a little more condensed. Great. So we focused on that one, two, one, two, two, three, two, three. Again, it's not about the punches. It's about the footwork. You can do that with whatever punches you want. <clears throat> Thank you for hanging out with me today. I look forward to seeing you really soon. Keep fighting.